Over the years, I've come to know a few people who are physically blind. I've also had the opportunity while in Sochi to go along to the Torch Fellowship for the Blind, which is a monthly meeting in Falkirk, and to share something from God's Word. But I have to say that I'm always humbled when I meet people who have either no sight at all or very little sight. The way that such people are able to cope with their affliction makes me realise just how fortunate I am to have physical sight. If we're honest though, most of us cannot imagine what it's like not to see or not to be able to describe colours or to distinguish a loved one's face in the crowd. We take for granted the, the ability to safely cross a street without any help. The gift of sight is an amazing blessing for which we sometimes forget to be thankful. Some of us will be aware of the hymn writer Fanny Crosby who wrote some very well-known hymns which are still in use today. Some well-known examples are All the way my Saviour leads me, Blessed Assurance, he hideth my soul. Praise him, praise him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. Safe in the arms of Jesus. And to God be the glory. The hymn writer lived in the 19th and early part of the 20th centuries. She in fact wrote more than 8,000 hymns, which is enough to fill something like 15 complete hymnals, stacked one on top of the other. In fact, Fanny Crosby wrote so many hymns that her publishers actually gave her multiple, multiple pen names in order to make her composition seem more believable. But the amazing thing about Fanny Crosby is not how many hymns she wrote. It's the fact that she saw her handicap in a completely different light than most of us would today. She was, believe it or not, thankful for the blessing of blindness. Now at six weeks of age, her family doctor had used hot compresses on her eyes in, a, in an attempt to cure an infection. But the technique only succeeded in scarring sensitive tissue and causing her to be permanently blind. Fanny, though, refused to become despondent by her inability to see. At the age of eight, for example, she composed a poem about the fact that despite her physical limitation, she was a happy child. And years later, in her autobiography, Fanny Crosby wrote that she could never have written all these spiritual songs if she had been continually distracted by the sights of an interesting world. In her own words, she believed that it seemed intended by the blessed providence of God that she should be blind all her life. And she thanked him, yes, thanked him for the dispensation. She thanked him for her blindness. It's sometimes said that there are basically two kinds of people in the world. There are the grateful and there are the ungrateful. And the difference is actually between squandering life and sharing life. Between being blinded to glory and being able to say, as Fanny Crosby wrote, to God be the glory. Between having assured bitterness or, as Fanny Crosby also wrote, blessed assurance. In many ways, this is a difference which we can see in people's lives. In thinking about the life of Fanny Crosby, I believe that we all have to ask ourselves, myself included, what reasons for gratitude are we able to find in our own personal weaknesses and limitations? Through what kind of eyes are we able to see them? I find these challenging thoughts 
and challenging questions. And I close with the words of the prophet Isaiah. Writing about future glory, he says, chapter 29, verse 18, In that day the deaf will hear the words of the scroll, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind will see. God bless.